Hey guys, today's video is March Beauty Favorites video. I don't have a ton of products to show you, but the products that I am going to show you are ones that I have been absolutely loving, 100% loving. We're just gonna jump right into the video. If you guys wanna see what I've been loving, then keep on watching. Okay. The first thing that I've been loving are um, by Coco Lashes. These are queen bees, and I've been wearing them out. This is a fresh pair, so I didn't trim them yet. Um, but this is what they look like. They're really nice and wispy and super, super long. I have a bunch of photos on Instagram wearing them. I am wearing Coco Lashes today. These are Amore. They almost remind me of um, Iconics, House of Lashes Iconics, because they're spiky. Um, but they're super, super cute, and they're really cheap. I think they were about $6, so they're super inexpensive, really easy to apply, and I've been loving them. I featured in my Sephora haul the Naked Skin Color Correcting um, Fluid. This one is in Peach. I love it, you guys. It is um, a nice creamy formula, super, super pigmented, if you can see there. Um, so a little bit goes a long way. What I do is I take the brush and I just kind of dot it like two or three little baby dots right into the hollows of my eye where I have the darkness. And then I blend it out a tiny bit with my finger first. And then I'll go in with my normal concealer over top. And it seems to hide my bags really well. Like I know I have shadows, but it's, I think it's because of my lighting right now. Um, but compared to normal, my bags are dark circles are very much minimized. So I'm absolutely loving that. So I've been wearing out this foundation from Clinique literally for the past month, just nonstop wearing it. It is the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. That's what the bottle looks like there. I have mine in the shade 9 Neutral. So I'm wearing it today as my foundation. It really does act as a concealer and foundation. And I find that it covers Super, super well. It is definitely a full coverage foundation, which I obsess over, and it's not cakey, which I also obsess over. It's really difficult to find a full coverage foundation that doesn't cake up on me personally, um, but this stuff has just been my ride or die go-to um, foundation. I believe um, Candy, Candy Johnson is the one who has been raving about this and I've been watching her videos and her skin's always freaking flawless. So I went out and got my hands on it and I haven't put it down since. It, as you can tell, it really is flawless full coverage foundation but without the cake and that is like, that's all I want, a foundation. Full coverage, no cake. Okay, so I've been obsessed with two lipsticks the month of March. The first one that I'm gonna mention is from Bite Beauty. It is called Honeycomb. It's a newer nude. It's like a brown nude shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is super creamy and Bite did come out with a new formula. These are the Amuse Bouche, if I'm saying that right, I'm, I'm terrible, terrible with languages, um, lipsticks. So they did change their formula so they last longer and they smell so good. This one smells like lemons, like a like a lemon chiffon. Mm, it smells so good, and I'm loving the formula, and I absolutely love the color. Okay, so the other lipstick that I have been wearing out lately is an oldie but a goodie. And before I mention it, I feel like I feel like it's one of those lipsticks that people were obsessing over, and then it went away, and now it's like taboo to wear such a pale nude, but I don't know you guys, I've been dying over it. It's MAC Myth, obviously I've been obsessing over it. It's just a pale pinky nude color, and I just have been wearing it out a ton. It comes across a little bit more pink on my hand, which is looking really pale compared to my body right now for some reason, um, but on my skin it is a pale nude, but I'm not so tan that it's like totally white on me, sometimes it can be. But I don't know, I, I just, I can't get over the pale nudes, I love it. I am wearing it on my lips today. I'm wearing it in conjunction with MAC's Lip Liner and Strip Down. Um, I'm gonna put that next to it. Strip Down is a nice brown shade. I line my entire mouth with Strip Down, and then I went in with MAC Myth, and I've been doing that lately um, for the past couple of weeks at least, and I love the way that it looks. Moving on to more like skincare beauty, 
I just have a couple of items to show you. The first thing that I have to show you guys is the Murad Skin Smoothing Polish. I recently got this and I featured it in my Sephora haul. Um, guys, it's amazing. The beads are like very, very fine, micro fine um, little beads. And it seriously exfoliates my skin and makes it just look so fresh and soft. I've never had such soft skin as I do when I go in with this. I go in about twice a week with this and it's made the hugest difference in my skin appearance. My foundation goes on so much more evenly now that I have a scrubbing routine. Uh, I use the word scrub loosely because it's not good to exfoliate your skin too too much. So you gently exfoliate your skin like once or twice a week and you'll be good. But seriously though, my foundation goes on way smoother. My skin feels softer. It doesn't seem as dry because I'm exfoliating the, de the dead skin cells off. Okay, and sticking with skincare, this next item is like the most universal, amazing product. It's from the brand Kapari Beauty. It is their coconut milk. Oh my god, you guys. I seriously am obsessing over this. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I've been using this a ton. The tub is absolutely huge, and I use it as an all-over hair mask to moisturize my really dry hair. I also use it as an under eye cream at night. So basically, I go in with this every single night as an eye cream. My under eyes have been super, super moisturized. When it touches the warmth of your skin, it instantly melts in. And then once you rub it in, your skin absorbs it really quickly and your skin stays really moisturized. So I've used it as an under eye moisturizer, a skin moisturizer, like an all over body moisturizer, hair mask. My hair is so soft and fluffy afterwards. And I don't um, have as dry of a scalp. It's vegan, cruelty-free, sulfate-free. It smells like coconut. You feel like you're at the beach. It's literally, it smells like raw coconut. And it's absolutely just a decadent treat. It's a new and up-and-coming brand that I'm sure you'll see a lot of. My next favorite and my last favorite is this brush from Morphe. Lately I know I've been featuring brushes in my favorites video, but recently I stocked up on a bunch of new brushes and finding that I love them. This one is the Morphe M459. It's what I've been using to clean up my contour. Basically I'll just stamp on the Laura Mercier powder. It's dirty right now, you can tell. Um, I stamp on my powder and then I'll take it in a line underneath my contour just to clean it up a little bit and I'll let it bake while I finish off the rest of my blush and then just wipe it away. It's definitely foolproof too. Like if you have your contour that seems to be a little messy, just go in and stamp a line like right under it and then maybe drag it down a tiny bit and then wipe it away and it's just absolutely perfect for fitting under the contour. So I'm loving that. So that's gonna do it for all my favorites. I know I didn't have a ton to show you, but everything that I do show you guys, I truly, truly love. Um, I would never rave about a product that I didn't, clearly. I mean, my last video was my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation first impression, and I was super honest, I didn't really love it. So you guys know, if I show you a product in these favorites videos, you know that I'm loving it. Let me know what your favorites are for beauty products recently so that I can try out new things. Give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. What do you guys think? Should I film this eye makeup look? Because I feel like I should. I love it.